Alright, welcome back to the channel and today, well, I installed the threshold. Uh, I used a one and a half by one and a half, sixteenth inch thick angle with aluminum and uh, did a couple of cuts, trimmed it and drilled some holes, put that in the van and I think it looks great. So, why don't you come on out, take a look and see what it looks like. And there we are. So I mitered the edge here to fit and I notched it out around the counter and also back here I kind of notched it to fit back a little bit farther and then I installed uh, there, these are number eight by nine sixteenths truss head screws put those in and uh, just because they stick up they'll keep me from slipping and sliding off of these give me a little traction all right, so what's next is to install the galley. So I've got some brackets here in the back. Let me turn on a lighter too. There we go. So I'm going to have two brackets here in the back, two brackets here on the front. Then over here I'll have two brackets in the front and also two brackets in the back behind the uh, cabinet door and that should uh, lock it down and then I think once we get that all fastened in we'll go ahead and install our sink and uh, this is the sink I've or not the sink faucet we'll install the faucet so here it is and uh, I think it's gonna look pretty nice we uh, will have to drill a hole like I said we'll probably put that about right here somewhere and uh, get that tapped in put all our hoses in get things tightened down before I install the sink that way I can still be able to reach under and tighten things up I think that'll be easier and then we'll uh, drop the sink back in put some sealing around and we'll get that installed so that's all my plan for today get the galley in get the faucet in and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and screw fasten the stove in place in case I want to take this for a drive I don't want this sliding out that'd be uh, that'd be horrible all right so let me get all set up and we'll get that installed Alright, so we have the galley is now attached. So we've got those, and he saw me install the brackets on this one. And I went ahead and installed the new sliders on that one. That one catches just a little bit. I think it's working. That'll work. That'll do. That'll do. Alright, so we've got that on. And, uh, yep. So now we can drill our hole for our sink. 
get the stove attached and then we will install the bracket here on the side for an extension on our countertop and I'm kind of looking forward to that because I want to see how long that counter will be I mean it's it's 53 inches as it is so got about 14 inches here counter space and then I'll have another 19 inches over there on the end. So I think that's going to be fine. We'll get uh, we'll get those installed. And then I think the next worry will be to go ahead and get our door installed. And uh, I want to get my water tanks and set inside and make sure everything fits. Okay, so that's where we're at. Hang in there. It's going to be uh, more to come. Hold on. All right, so here's where we're at. I'm using a hole saw, inch and three eighths, and I found the center for my faucet. And I've got things taped off here to kind of keep the dust level down a little bit. We're going to go ahead and punch through, and then uh, once we get part way through, then we'll come up from the bottom and finish that out so we have a nice clean hole. And then we can install the faucet, see what it looks like, drop the sink in, and make sure it looks pretty. Okay. Let's get going. Nice and clean. Yeah. All right. I'm going to vacuum all this up and uh, take our tape off and then set the faucet in. Get it locked in place. Take a look. All right. So let's drop this in. Got a rubber gasket here on that. This bracket on and then this one goes on we'll tighten everything up and make sure it fits okay next is we've got our little weight here that we're going to put on our line hopefully and it does have a little indicator where to put it. So we're gonna put that right there, clamp it shut. There we go. And then we'll take the end here, push this button and install that. So these two out of the way. So with the weight on, then our head here is able to come out and uh, do a little bit of spraying, and then it pops right back in. All right, so let's drop the sink in and uh, see what that unit looks like. Right. Just like so. that really nice sweet got one little puck light above the uh, sink so that's gonna work nice look nice good deal all right so now we're gonna get ready to put on our extension table and uh, first thing I'm gonna do is mark over where I'm gonna put my supports I'm gonna go over five and a quarter so I'm gonna put my tape right there Sweet. 
I'm going to use my speed square. And we'll mark that over at five and a quarter. Right there. We'll take one of our little brackets here and uh, position that. So the line is our center line. So we'll set that in there and mark for our holes. Take our tape off. See if we can't get it attached. Good deal. All right, so I've already pre-drilled my extension table here. I just uh, extended it, set it up, marked my holes, took it down, pre-drilled my holes. So now we'll get it set in place, fasten it on. So I got those last two screws in. Now nice. Works great. Next up, I'm setting in my chair. Looks good. So I think this gives me plenty of counter space and a place that I can uh, eat and work from. Yes, I like it. And it folds up out of the way. I'll give you a shot of that. All right, so we've got our faucet in sink setting in place stove is next and we've got our extension table which works like a charm and that gives us a lot of counter space now i'm kind of curious if i can get my lagoon table swivel around and somewhat give a little more counter space i'll try that but uh, anyway there's what it's looking like I think it's uh, looking quite grand. Lagoon table swung around and uh, obviously we're not long enough but it does give a little bit more counter space. I'll probably be changing this one out. It doesn't uh, really go with anything in here. It was a temporary setup anyway but uh, yeah so I'm able to prep, prep, prep got a lot of prepping space so it's starting to look pretty decent yeah definitely need to change that out and I don't know if I would extend the table it's a possibility 
make it just a little bit longer. If I move the driver's seat forward a little bit, then I'm able to move the table around instead of a big gap like that. I can just slide that right up to it, tighten it up. Now I've got this counter space here. So adds to it a little bit. I decided not to make it any wider because when it's up against the wall here or out here, then it will come out and I wouldn't be able to stand here. So we definitely want to be able to move around in this place. So that's looking good. Okay, next is to pull the stove out, mark where the gas line is going to come in, go ahead and get that pre-drilled, and then we'll slide the stove in and probably temporarily fasten everything down, just in case I want to make a trip in this, and I don't want to take a chance on the stove falling out, which would uh, not make my day. So.